But let's get you caught up on the latest moves in free agency. All NBA center DeMontis Sabonis, who is entering the final year of his current deal, renegotiating and extending his contract with the Kings for a total of $217 million over five seasons. That includes $195 million in new money. Russell Westbrook re-upping with the Clippers on a two-year deal worth nearly $8 million. Westbrook averaged fewer than 16 points per game last season playing for both LA teams, his lowest scoring average since his rookie campaign. Dylan Brooks agreeing on a four-year $80 million contract with the Rockets. Brooks will now join Fred Van Vliet in Houston's revamped backcourt as the Rockets look to bounce back from consecutive 60 lost seasons. And the one that stole all the headlines here, Damian Lillard requesting a trade after 11 seasons in Portland. The Heat, Clippers, 76ers, three teams that will have interest in exploring trades for Lillard. You know how we know that? Because this man told us. Senior NBA insider Adrian Wojnarowski up early, working the phones, obviously getting the latest information on Damian Lillard and where that trade request now sits as of this morning. Woj, what do you got? Hey, Gary, the, the Blazers front office, mm -hmm. their organization, they made it clear to teams who called yesterday about Damian Lillard uh, that they are open for business everywhere in the league on him. Now, our Mark Spears reports that Damian Lillard wants to play for the Miami Heat, that he has told uh, the Blazers that. But he does not have a no-trade clause in the way that Bradley Beal did. He does not get to control where he goes next. And for Portland, listen, they're going to go out into the marketplace and try to find the best deal they can. It's a combination of young players, draft picks, salary cap relief, all the things you want when a star of Damian Lillard's magnitude uh, asks to be traded. And so I think this will not be a quick process. And Miami does not have any advantage uh, in trying to get a trade for Damian Lillard just because he's asking to go there. Sure, listen, we mentioned the three teams um, there, the Heat, Philly, one of the LAs. Uh, the other 27 teams should be picking up the phone and say, what, Lillard wants out? Okay, let's talk about it. Meanwhile, uh, it's been three days since James Harden exercised his player option with the Sixers. Clearing the way now for a trade out of Philly. Where do you think stand now with Harden and his situation? Uh, in this short window of time, Philadelphia's ask to teams has been really high. Okay. And that's how Daryl Morey's operated when you've seen other situations uh, where players uh, have been ready to move on. Look back to Ben Simmons. He kept Simmons an entire year before he traded him out. He did not move quickly on a deal. They've got to get value for James Harden if they're going to trade him. You are in the win this window with Joel Embiid of trying to win championships with him. Uh, this is not an easy trade to make with uh, essentially trading for an expiring contract in James Harden. I think another situation that's going to play out through free agency into summer league and probably beyond. Still a gigantic uh, walking double-double <laughs> average 21-10 and 10, uh, last season. All right, we mentioned the massive extension that DeMontis Sabonis uh, got out there in Sacramento. The Kings, a nice, young, up-and-coming team. We saw them make noise last season in the playoffs. What more can you tell us uh, went behind the scenes with that extension? Yeah, you don't see many of these. Renegotiation extension where a team uses its own cap space to, player, to pay a player more money right now. You saw it with Russell Westbrook in Oklahoma City, with James Harden back in Houston, and now DeMontis Sabonis, who has been a pillar for this Kings organization as they ended that 16-year playoff drought this season. And right now, and, and you call them uh, an up-and-coming team in the West, I think, Gary, this is ready yeah. to be a power in the West. And getting DeMontis Sabonis locked up in all NBA center this season, $217 million over five years, almost $200 million in new money. That deal got done last night with his agent, Greg Lawrence. And now Sabonis, uh, this Kings team, they've got their group back. They keep Harrison Barnes. And Sabonis left a little money in this deal sure. for, the, for their team to kind of keep some flexibility and continue to bring in players and keep the group they have together. Because they're ready to light the beam <clears throat> come this fall. That is Adrian Wojnarowski lighting things up with the latest with NBA Free Agency. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.